Write a function to delete a node in the singly linked list, given access only to that node. How can you do that? That's today's video. Let's jump in. Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Today we're going through a legal problem 237, delete node in the linked list. Let's take a look at the problem first. Write a function to delete a node except the tail, this is a very important assumption, in the singly linked list given only access to that node. So we're only given access to that node which needs to be deleted. Okay, let's take a look at the function API, the API signature here. List node, we are given a parameter that takes into this API, which is the node. This is the node that needs to be deleted in this singly linked list. For example here, given this linked list, hat is starting from four, 4519, 4519, singly linked list means it's one directional, only from head to tail. And say in the example here, 4519, this is the linked list and given node with value five. This is the node that we want to delete. So after deleting five, this node becomes 419, right? So this is one example. Second example is still 4519, but this time the node that we want to delete is the node with value one. So we need to delete this one. And then the output is four, five, nine. The node with value one is gone. So we have gone through the problem description. Let's take a look at the node first. The linked list will have at least two elements. Number one. Number two is that all of the nodes values will be unique. So it's guaranteed there is no duplicate. Third one, the given node will not be the tail and it will always be a valid node of the linked list, which means it's not going to be the very last element of this given linked list. All of these are very important assumptions because the solution is kind of mind blowing. And the fourth one is do not return anything from your function. We don't need to return the head or the tail of the linked list after we modify it. That's it. We'll just go through one example. Say first, we're given this linked list. For example, one, two, three, four, five, six. X just denotes it's a null. That's the end. That uh, the node with the value six is the tail tail node. So it's pointing to a null. This is suppose this is the example that this is the linked list that we're given, and we are asked to delete the node with value four. How can we do that? Usually, for a linked list problem, what we can do is that we we'll just uh, move the node that currently needs to be deleted, it's, its previous node's next pointer to this node's next pointer. So we'll cut this off. Instead, we'll create a pointer from, we'll move the pointer for its previous node to point to its this node's next node. That's the idea. That's usually the way how we tackle this problem. We, if we are asked to delete a node in the singly linked list, we'll just move the, the previous node's next pointer point to the nodes, the nodes that needs to be deleted is next node. Then this one is gone, right? Because if we cut the link off, then this one is not part of this singly linked list anymore. I hope that makes sense. But in this case, the problem that we're given is that we're only given access, given only access to that node. So we don't have access to its previous node. Suppose, th so the question is asking for this example. In my example, we are asking to delete the node with value four. So we are only given access to this node. And remember, this is a singly linked list, which means in the singly linked list, there's only one, one other field, which is next. It doesn't, it doesn't have a previous node, right? That, that's called a doubly linked list. A singly linked list, you don't really know your predecessor. The only access that you have is your immediate successor, right? And we are given only the node that needs to be deleted. In this case, is it's this node with the value four. So we cannot, apparently we cannot do this. We cannot just cut this link off and assign the new link to its next successor. It's not possible. Then how can we do that? Well, one way is that we can first assign this node, this node's value, its immediate successor. Remember this one, the node with value four needs to be gone, right? Needs to be deleted. But the only access that we have is this one. So we cannot go, go to its previous predecessor. We, can, we don't have access to that because this is one direction. But the one that we do have access to is, is its immediate successor, which is this one. 
So first step, what we're going to do is that we'll just get the value of its immediate successor first, which is this one, the value five. So we'll assign this node's, its immediate successor's node's value to the current node, the node that needs to be deleted. That's first step. Second step, what we can do is that we'll cut this link off. This link is the one that currently needs to be deleted and assign this node's next pointer link to its next, to its immediate successor's successor. I hope you are still with me. That's where this green link is pointing to. Why do we do that? It's because this one we have copied it over and then it could be, it could just be removed, right? This one, it could be just removed because this link is gone. We use the green link is replacing the red link. The red link is, we just throw it away. We cut it off because this is a singly linked list. It has only one node, only one next node. So we use the, the this, this node's next node to point to its, to point to its successor's successor. So this one, we have keep, we have copied the value of this one to the node that needs to be deleted already. We override it. We put it on top of the nodes, the node that needs to be deleted, which is safe, right? Anyway, that node needs to be gone, right? And then we assign the next, this, the currently that needs to be deleted nodes, next node to point to its successor to successor. Then this one will be, will be gone. It's not part of this synchrony linked list anymore. Then it becomes this final node which is the correct answer that we want to get is one, three, one, two, three, five, six. The node with value four is gone. And we are still, we still retain this simply linked list starting from hat and it ends at with the node with the node with value six. That's correct. That's exactly what we wanted. I hope that makes sense. This is kind of a trick. It's not really a delete, but it's overriding. But, and we are, we still keep the, the structure of this simply linked list and every value is still in its correct position. So this is the answer. With that understood, now let's just uh, put that um, thought into the actual code, which is going to be only two lines of code, very simple and straightforward. First one is that we'll just uh, change, we'll overwrite the node that needs to be deleted, its value to be what? To be the, the node that needs to be deleted is immediate successor's value, which is next. So it's guaranteed, it's guaranteed to be valid because it says the input node is not going to be a tail node, which we are, we don't need actually need to check whether node dot next exists or not. So this is not going to throw a null point exception based on the problem description. So first is that we override the value. Next, we'll change the current nodes that needs to be deleted. It's its next pointer, which is going to be next 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 so what this does is this remember this is the node that needs to be deleted okay take a look at here this is the node we we want to delete the node with value four how do we so what mean so what that means is that this node dot next dot next okay let's see this is the node that we want to delete so this node dot next is five dot next is six Right, so we assign this one to this node's next. So basically what it does is exactly this, this is what it does, right? Cut this line off and assign this node to this node's next. That's what the second line is doing. That's, we're done. Two lines of code and then we finish this, this problem. Let's hit submit and see. Accept it, 100%. Uh, it's only two lines of code, but the the idea is is kind of a, a little bit tricky to is all called a brain teaser is because it's not really deleting the node, but instead it's it's basically testing you to understand to see your understanding of linked list or um, how you can do given only access to that node how you can delete that node. I hope this video helps you to understand this problem and we are starting the series of linked list so just to drop me a like that's going to help a lot with the youtube algorithm and to spread this video to a more a, a bigger a broader audience so that we can go through lead code problems and prepare for lead code interview prepare for software engineering interviews better and also 
please subscribe to my channel. That's, that's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm as well. I really appreciate it. All right, that's it for this problem. Um, I hope it helps. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.